Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PIFX. First of all, thanks to all of you for all your likes and comments and uh, it is really appreciated. Um, hope you all had a great trading week last week and we seems like we have uh, another a bit bumpy week ahead of us, especially uh, for the Brexit headlines to keep coming. So you need to keep an eye on that. So um, yeah, guys. Let's do this while I roll the intro and disclaimer. Hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys before we start uh, check the description below the video today because I just published an article about triangle trading you will really love it so um, if you like triangle trading you should check this article okay so um, yeah let's get this started and we will start with the Dixie as usual we are on the weekly time frame and um, yeah I think you remember this trend line that I mentioned uh, last week that gonna be an important trend line been going for a while this trend line started in June 2019 and as you see on the weekly time frame here last week we had a strong break below that um, below that trend line which opened the way for more uh, downside for the dollar so if we just look on the weekly time frame there is no major swing lows until we reach this level down here around the 200 moving average uh, on the weekly on the daily time frame we see also the clear uh, break a very strong momentum move uh, one of the strongest in a while actually so many days in a row so um, a clear dollar weakness we have a break and close below the 200 daily moving average right now and um, yeah expectation is um, that this uh, trend may continue now and uh, we should be looking for uh, first off for some correction to the upside and start looking to continuing selling rallies the the main thing that we did break below these these levels here that we've been watching for a very long time now uh, showing even more evidence for more weakness uh, here so um, keep an eye on this on the retest of this area for possible continuation to the downside or uh, an even higher uh, correction the deeper correction the uh, the better uh, if we look at oil we're still in the same area nothing has changed here uh, we're still going uh, sideways uh, for our time frame we have the clear range uh, the top here is our uh, sell level and we should keep doing so and uh, the bottom here at the 51 is uh, the buy area so uh, this range is between 51 and 55 nothing will change until we have a break outside of it to the upside or a break below it to the downside as for now keep buying low selling high uh, keep an eye on this uh, earlier level here could be also a good level uh, for the bulls to defend but uh, basically nothing new here from even from the last week's um, um, review we're still uh, looking for the same um, on this market until we have the break out of the range gold if we look how much the dollar did move and how much gold did move there is not much uh, correlation at the moment yeah so if we go back and check the the dixie chart here on um, this chart um, on the four hour let me check the four hour for you so as you see the dixie moved a lot while gold is still was still uh, going like uh, sideways here so uh, there is no um, uh, evidence uh, correlation at the moment but if we just talk about the gold chart uh, alone so we still have uh, gold trading below the 200 moving average on the uh, on the four hour did break below a uh, monthly pivot point retested once retested twice and still not a, a, able to uh, break higher so um, this chart still 
showing the possibility for another leg to the downside i'm seeing this as an, a possible impulse this as a correction and the possibility for more downside is uh, is still here for some kind of a bearish flag uh, on um, on this market so mainly downside otherwise if we see gold pushing higher once again you have to keep an eye on this uh, trend line it's been respected very nicely previously and uh, we should keep an eye on that there is also uh, the possibility that we have a rounded bottom here and we may see something like that but as for now i'm not um, comfortable about that i still think there is a possibility that this trend line uh, could break and we see another leg to the downside now longer term on gold um, we still have the possibility for bullish trend but on the daily time frame we're still making lower lows and lower highs the question is will this low here hold if it got tested or not so um, short term you still have the possibility for more downside but wait for confirmation wait for the break uh, of the trend line for example before going short as i said because there is the possibility that you see uh, this here getting a nice rounded bottom and uh, a move to the upside let's not forget the seasonality for gold uh, soon um, we're gonna have december and usually gold um, used to uh, move up during december but there is still uh, some room ahead of that it could drop even more before that run to the upside to happen EURUSD very strong we've got nice trades on this um, market uh, last week and uh, it was uh, pretty um, pain-free trades um, very nice momentum we now have a break outside of the channel we have also a break above uh, this uh, major trend line no matter how you draw it uh, it is now uh, broken as you see uh, with uh, Friday's uh, daily candle here so um, many evidence of uh, that the bulls are uh, taking uh, control on this uh, market here and uh, yeah the break uh, now is not only above the channel we have above this previous high above this previous high and the most important above this major swing high here um, so what next uh, for uh, for uh, the EURUSD I think uh, the first market objective should be to reach monthly or to this area here where we also had uh, previous uh, support and resistance here at these levels to keep an eye on this area if and when the market reached those uh, levels for possible correction from that level because now we have a pretty extended move uh, rsi is at the extremely overbought and um, one could um, expect uh, some profit taking uh, some correction back down before any continuation so keep an eye on the monthly r2 level this area here could uh, give bulls some trouble some pressure to the downside uh, before any continuation so for next week you need to uh, watch this in any case even though it is a bullish market i would say one should wait for some kind of correction before the continuation and again the deeper the better it is pretty hard to tell uh, how uh, far of a correction we may get but uh, in my opinion this level here could be a first area to look at as you see here it's been tested nicely as uh, both uh, support and resistance many times so uh, at least a correction toward this area i would prefer even deeper correction toward the trend line and this uh, uh, this level here before uh, that continuation move to happen but um, in any case it is um, buying the dip which which should be your main aim uh, on the EURUSD and uh, sterling and <laughs> the brexit uh, saga keep uh, keep going so as you know last um, uh, yesterday actually saturday there was um, an important vo vote um, in the parliament um, about uh, if they're gonna accept the deal as it is right now and uh, ditch um, from EU the 31st or not and um, Mr. Bojo did not win the deal so he had to send a letter to uh, uh, to the EU and um, asking for um, 
Article 50 extension for uh, three months at least. He did send the letter, but he didn't write it. Uh, sorry, he didn't sign it. He sent uh, another letters asking the EU, uh, the EU also to not accept the first letter. So it is pretty uh, nice circus going on at the moment. And honestly, uh, there is uh, no clear direction because the uh, EU could um, delay answering. Uh, they could also... Uh, um, just give them um, no um, reason for uh, a delay and uh, we uh, do not accept that so it it is still uh, very uh, open um, we have nothing clear yet and uh, in my opinion uh, there will be an answer from the European Union that uh, extension uh, could be uh, go for but uh, maybe they will do at the last time to give them six months because i think three months not not much will happen and we have christmas in between and all that i'm not sure uh, they will manage to do anything during that time but um, yeah the main thing is uh, the uncertainty is still ongoing now and um, i looked at the um, uh, sterling prices as for now uh, shockingly there is no uh, major um, gaps or something like that we have like uh, five uh, six pips gaps to the uh, to the downside so um, it will be very very intense next week a uh, lots of headlines gonna come and you really really need to be um, uh, sure that you um, know what you are doing if you're gonna trade uh, the sterling in any case if we uh, forget about all the um, uh, fundamentals and just look at the chart the level we are at right now is a very important area we've been testing that many many times in the past and uh, as you see here and it is a, a clear level of uh, both uh, support and resistance so um, 1.30 uh, is um, a very important level the move been very extended and when you have such an, a major event technicals um, usually go uh, out of the window so um, I would not go along against such a level in any case uh, in a, such an extended move I think the market always take uh, things to the extreme when you have a uh, lots of headlines to then uh, wake up and see oh my god it is uh, way too much now uh, we've been in a rush etc etc and you start seeing uh, price going back to normal making correction and give you another um, up, uh, opportunity to to join in so as for now at least um, a correction toward uh, 1.2760 is um, what we should be looking for even better if we move all the way down toward this neckline actually from this area uh, depends on uh, if this will be our last high or not but 50 percent retracement of uh, this whole move could be what we should be looking la uh, for a longer term uh, as a correction to buy on the four hour time frame we do have a very nice uh, bearish divergence going on right now and um, yeah this uh, wedge uh, is still um, still there this is not broken to the downside yet we were looking at this on my in my trading room looking for a possible break to then look for that uh, move to the downside so um, this area here it is a level that you should keep an eye at because there is a possibility for some correction to start happening from the 1.300 here major level and um, it should be watched closely at the same time you need to be aware of any brexit headlines gonna move the market fast to then you're gonna get another conflicting headline that gonna move it on in the other direction so if you're new to the trade to trading i highly recommend you and advise you to not trade uh, sterling pairs next week usd jappy um we had a pretty boring week went sideways uh, the whole week and um, but we see also that um, 
UJ did uh, a nice strong move to the upside to then start losing momentum and correcting to the downside. I'm expecting this correction to continue at least toward uh, 108 once again to then we're gonna see if we're gonna have a break below and continuation or if we're gonna get bullish evidence here to start looking for uh, another leg to the upside the possibility for a move to the upside um, is there actually since uh, we broke above uh, previous high we broke out of this um, key level so uh, the expectation for one more leg to the downside to then continue higher um, is uh, pretty high uh, uh, from my side so keep an eye on this level here around the 38.2 fibonacci retracement uh, could be your first area to look for uh, the bulls to buy here USD chief broke uh, this uh, key trend line here on the daily. So we're talking about this trend line uh, after failing to make new high here. And uh, as you know, guys, those of you who follow me for a while and watch these videos um, each and every week, we've been talking about the 618 level here and the importance of this whole area uh, looking left. So uh, we saw how the last time the market did leave this level, and uh, we knew that it is a, a very important uh, area to keep an eye at so uh, what happened here was the rejection push to the downside correction and yet another leg to uh, a bearish leg and we have now a break even below uh, sorry a break below uh, this level down here as well so for our time frame um, what we should be doing now is to uh, look for uh, a correction I would say at least toward this level or around the monthly pivot point to then look for the next leg so hopefully this market will uh, slow down a bit give us some kind of correction uh, to then uh, those who missed the move will be able uh, to join but now we are in the sellers zone we were in the buyers zone above this trend line so now we should be uh, in the sellers zone below this uh, trend line here you should be uh, looking to sell this market and um, your main target should be uh, around a monthly s2 but you have uh, this area here that may give you some trouble at around one, uh, 0 0.98 keep an eye on that level this could uh, give uh, the bears some troubles here so if this uh, to open and keep pushing to the downside this area here could be the level where we start looking for a correction in any way look for uh, rallies to sell on this market USD CAD finally we've got the move a very nice uh, trade last week uh, if you remember um, my idea to short this market uh, after this break retest and continuation to then we when we saw this uh, breaking to the upside and I did uh, close my trade close to uh, break even at the time and uh, told you there is a possibility that this was a possible fake out but that I didn't like a daily candle that closed above previous high that's why I closed the, the trade but I also said this could be a flag correction to them push lower now it did push lower without continue the last uh, push to the upside and last week we had a nice uh, continuation on that breaking uh, this trend line as well so we have this flag now is broken and we should looking for a continuation to the downside so we have a break below previous low if we look on the weekly time frame um, we broke below this level we have the 200 moving average on the weekly coming now from below but it is like pointing sideways to then start pointing to the downside so uh, the main idea was here that we have impulse correction impulse correction and we were looking for that last impulse to happen and hopefully it is on the way so uh, for this market keep looking to sell rallies um, for our time frame I would say you wait for a correction toward the yearly pivot point here and this broken structure at least to then start looking to sell it so this should be the least correction you wait for um, on this market because we know it does correct um, 
big time uh, when you do it so we had this move we had a very big correction to then have this fake out and so on so uh, it is not a market that like give you a shallow correction then keep moving and don't be in a rush as you see we have tons of consolidation to enter in each and every time so don't be in a rush here you have another consolidation another consolidation so this market uh, will always give you chance to enter do not rush and uh, chase it if you are not in Aussie USD also pretty strong after um, reaching the last line of defense here we start getting uh, higher highs and higher lows on the daily and last week another uh, higher high breaking previous high here and the market objective should be to tag these uh, highs up here so keep an eye on that if you are in a uh, in a long position you should be targeting this level because that area could give uh, uh, the bulls some troubles on the way for our time frame we are um, having a pretty extended move here so as you see so many bullish candles in a row so uh, for this one you need to wait for a correction uh, before a continuation the level to watch i would say uh, this neckline down here looking uh, pretty interesting to watch uh, if we get that correction to this area to start looking for the continuation here on uh, this uh, uh, on this market okay so by the dip by the correction especially if we reach this neckline down here New Zealand USD same scenario this one was a little bit late to the party so Aussie was uh, much faster we broke um, uh, both um, highs here so the price uh, probably will continue toward um, these highs this swing high is the market objective um, in my opinion so uh, even here we should wait for uh, price to correct back down to then start looking for continuation the 200 moving average starts slightly pointing to the upside um, on New Zealand USD so um, yeah by the dip best level to look for is down here to then start looking for continuation now that does not mean if we get a deeper correction that the idea is failed yeah so even if we get all the way down here toward this area once again that would be even better that would give you much better entry much better um, stop loss play, uh, placement etc so uh, the deeper the better what we know for now is we uh, broke these levels and we should look for a continuation uh, to the upside on this market so um, yeah guys that was it thanks a lot uh, again do not forget to hit the like button leave me a comment and see you next week bye bye